Leaving home was harder than I thought. I expected the journey would fill me with a sort of pride, a sense of accomplishment. But whatever it was that carried me away from home soon fled, replaced by questions and no small amount of doubt. Had I been too hasty? Had I made a mistake? The others in the village, they thought this was something I wanted, something I chose to do. But it never felt that way to me. No, it was not a choice. It was an obligation. Because if not me, then who? If you're looking for the hunting ca Lots of different kinds of people, all united. Right. Like I said, a tribe. Listen, you toddy-headed twiddle-poop. There's a difference between a tribe and a confederation, and it's not my fault you stole Spootnik to make sense of it. What? Um... I... I was told you could train me. No. Go away! I'm not leaving! I need a place to camp.
There must be another way in. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead, so let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land! Hear me out. What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? Least of all a self-important little scab like you? Ah. Or you might dream of being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. But stay this course, and the only thing you're gonna be is dead. world's moved on, boy. The best you do, too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. Just wait, old man. I will not be defeated so easily. You will train me. You have to. I know. These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little bridges. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn you. for the old man, then. That it? Maybe this will get you talking. Oh. Thank you. Clean this up. Then I suppose we should talk. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. 
Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that... that I am... These spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Ah, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, they're settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on, I've something to show you. Careful. It wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you repair it? What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> Look at me! You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? I'm so naive. This way. You can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I, I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on then. We've work to do. You are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they back the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, a people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together.
So I trained in running, in climbing, in fighting, in falling. And for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the order, these men would become my targets. So I worked harder, learned faster, but for all my progress, it was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun. Good morning. To you as well. You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house. And you're going to help me. Get it. Incredible. The people, the sounds and smells. I could walk these streets for days and know not even half its wonders. I thought the same as you upon a time. These days, I much prefer the quiet of the countryside. But there is so much life here. So many opportunities. For a few, my boy. For a few. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is, and they'll see that it's loaded. Understood? Yes. Good. You're also going to need a new name. Your skin is fair enough that you might pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. Better to be thought a Spaniard than a native. And both are better still than I. That is not true. What's true and what is aren't always the same. What would you call me then? Kana. Yes, that will be your name. All right then, off you go. I need the items on this list. Will you be paying with coin or trade? Some of these things I have, some I don't. Lumber's hard to come by since my supplier up and vanished. I have the tools and pitch, though. Nails, too. So, uh, where do you want this delivered? Our wagon is near the state house.
I should return to Achilles. Who stands in Parliament for Boston? For New York? Everybody! Virginia! Come with us! We've had enough! Greg, Peg, and Rip Rap, come with me! We're headed to the Customs House to toss some quips at the lobsters! James, what happened? Sam, That's on. what we're going, we're going to, to find out. Back, Follow with me. me! To King Street! We'll show them! Down to the customs house for a spree! Come along! We demand action! We must take our destiny in our own hands! Down with the oppressor! Gutted coward! It doesn't shoot at me! Hey, lobster! Go ahead! Fire your little gun! You red fat, rum so bacon face out! I do so might just this on you! Your plot has ended. Not quite. I need to find Achilles. You there? Careful now. I'm here to help. Who are you? Well, just a messenger. Mr. Adams wants a word. What? Why? Well, you'll need to ask him that yourself. He'll meet you tonight near Faneuil Hall. I suggest laying low till then.
Over here. Over here. You're Achilles' boy. Connor, was it? I saw what happened at the townhouse. A fine mess, that. Who are you? Samuel Adams, at your service. Achilles asked me to get you out of Boston. Explain. The whole city's looking for you. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! A criminal stalks the streets, wanted in connection with the massacre at the townhouse. Citizens are advised to call the guards if they see him. Ten pounds to whoever brings this mad What am I supposed to, to do? Well, you can take down these posters for a start. Return to me once you remove the others. Take down those posters and then we'll talk. Ah, Connor. There you are. I'd like you to meet Cyrus. Is it... is he the killer? Peace. Cyrus is on our side, or rather, for the right price he will be. Have you seen this man? Watch and learn. that the man responsible for today's shooting may have been in disguise. A wig and makeup tin were found near the scene of the crime. Witnesses describe a middle-aged gentleman of pale complexion fleeing towards the wharves, rifle in arm. Thank you kindly, Cyrus. Pleasure. Come on, then. There's still one last bit of work to do. Where are we going? To the printer. Where do you think all those posters came from? They're made by a machine. We need to shut it down. Damn it, we're too late. They've set up a checkpoint. Come on, this way. I can go by rooftop and meet you there. No. Better you learn about the tunnels now. Tunnels? The Masons have a whole network of them under the city. They're quite useful when speed and secrecy are required. Go 
Right to treat him that way. Use your lantern to light the lamps, Connor. They'll help us find our way should we get turned around. I wonder why they built these tunnels. Excellent. Let us move on. Much as it pains me to say it, we must follow the rats, as they often move in the direction of an exit. Well, well. You were right. I apologize for ever doubting. No wonder Achilles has taken such an interest in you. Ours. You don't suppose lockpicking is part of your repertoire? Let us reconvene there.
You ask a great deal of me, Sam. I know. But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important, if it wasn't vital. Fine. Just this once, though. In the future, such things will come at a price. Resetting the type is neither quick nor easy. To say nothing of the cost should I be discovered. I shall not forget this kindness. Nor I. His work will see your last little bit of notoriety erased. Come, I'll show you how to leave now that order's been restored. Oh, now you've had a chance to see how it all works. Untoward actions will upset the citizens and inevitably lead to the guards being caught. Depending on the severity of your transgression, they may simply search a bit before giving up and returning to their post. But should you offend them severely or repeatedly, they'll become much more aggressive in their pursuits. I've shown you three ways to turn the tide. Remove wanted posters, bribe town criers, or visit a printer to create your own propaganda. This feels wrong. Why not just speak to someone and explain my innocence? You can't be serious. We counter one lie with another. Here we are. Speak with the harbor master and he'll see you home. Thank you for everything, Sam. I promise one day to repay the favor. Oh, I'm counting on it. Like this. Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full-grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Sir, please! Help! He's going to die! Who? Oh. There's no time! Please, come! Down there! He's just passed under the bridge! Oh! <laughs> 
This knobend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling a knobend? You, because you are one. What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset. He'd had a secret to be sure. Just get me a ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held so dear. I met him once, that happen. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell ya, legs like tree trunks and a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking a little old. Yeah, but then when I met him, no weapon made by man could harm him. And here a man to quit the town and through the roar. Go away! Say, go away, boy! Do not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore! Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy! The ghost of the North Seas! The boat. A, a boat?! She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some... some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it... she... is able to sail again? 
Just get me the lumber boy, and I'll raise a crew. There you are. I've something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. To ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them as well. Days became months. Months became years. And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be!
Come on, lad, no time like the present. Come on, come on, she won't bite. You're connected to her now. Half sail! Ah! The killer flies again! Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Full sail! Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. Take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. Other vessels. Ease her up. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. I want everything. Full sail. Go get that wind. Cottages. We're close. No sail. No sail. No sail. Drop anchor. We'll go ashore, buy our guns, find our officers. Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. Hmm. Nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? 
We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> a good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Let fly, full sail! We need every notch, full sail! Fall in the half sail! Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. Bring her around broadside, in. and when all guns are on target, call fire. at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Good. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Fast learner. Provided something interests me. Ah. Getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Why is he shooting at us? Ready up to fire! Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace, take your pick! What do we do? Naught else but to fight back! Sink the bastard! Use the Twattled another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from?
I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. He weeks, and not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. <laughs> 